I am here again talking about eyebrow gate. Let me tell y'all something. I was gonna film a completely different video today, all right? I was gonna give it a break. But then, I made the mistake of scrolling through social media, okay? That was my fault. Because I get online and I see everybody talking about the mess that's just happened at the Vanity Fair after party for the Oscars. Woo! Buckle in. I'm gonna start with this clip that Variety tweeted of Kendall, Haley, and Kylie interacting before they actually get onto the carpet and we'll just watch the clip and we'll break it down, okay? See if you can notice what's wrong in the video. behavior on full display here. One second, Kendall is happily chatting away as if nothing's wrong, and then next she's like, <sighs> bombastic side eye. She did not want to be talking to that woman. And then Sebastian Soto pointed out that Kylie was completely ignoring Haley. Let me wrap my head around this, all right? How are you going to FaceTime this girl, right? But you can't even acknowledge her in person. You don't even look at her. You don't speak to her. You act as if she isn't there. And you know damn well that Kylie saw Haley because Kendall was just laughing and chatting with her. She would have heard. She would have seen. But she purposely ignored Haley. She is definitely mad, okay? I don't care. Now I'm gonna be a little bit of a conspiracy theorist here, but bear with me because I'm not gonna go too far down a rabbit hole, okay? This is just my opinion. So, with the way that Kylie was acting, I 100% believe that she's pissed at Haley because Haley is the reason that Kylie is no longer the most followed woman on Instagram. But that would just be so backwards considering Kylie was the one that posted the screenshot of herself on FaceTime with Haley. Haley didn't. It was you, Kylie. But I know damn well that Kylie blames Haley for the situation she's put herself in. Kylie didn't have to make that story, but she wanted to flex on Selena. You read what you saw, Kylie? You made your bed? Now lie in it. And as per usual, the response to this video on TikTok has been Absolutely hilarious. Especially this comment. Chris said they're not allowed to play with her anymore. And look, I know that's supposed to be a haha -ha funny comment. That's also another really plausible theory. I don't care! So the manager and Chris is kicking in, and I think she's telling her daughters to distance themselves from Haley as much as they possibly can in order to do damage control. Now. <sighs> Oh my god. There's a clip that's going viral of Haley stepping onto the red carpet and waiting to get her picture taken by the press. And it's just crickets. There is not one click of a camera. There is not one flash. Oh my god! <laughs> pose she made at the end. Like it gave vibes like this. Laura Linney. Whoops. Also, just a side note, why did Justin literally turn up to a Vanity Fair Oscars party? 
body in a blankie. She attended the Vanity Fair Oscar party and wore a beautiful Saint Laurent gown. But her husband Justin Bieber skipped the red carpet and wore a blankie. Does he just not care anymore? No, he's given up completely. And Haley looks completely dead inside next to him in this picture. Cause she's at least trying to look classy, right? And then here's him in his snuggie, like. <laughs> now, I'm gonna move on to something that is spreading like wildfire. And that is the rumor that Miley Cyrus made Kendall cry at a Versace show just a couple days ago. But allegedly, someone met her backstage and made her cry. And guess who it was? It was none other than Miley Cyrus. Supposedly, Miley came at Kendall for being a mean girl and she just was like not down with it. Of course, Miley did not only come for Kendall, she included Haley in the entire situation. So you'll notice I used the word rumor and that's because nothing has actually been confirmed yet. But this TikTok user named T with Lottie says the only reason she believes this happened is because Selena Gomez posted these pictures to Instagram, which by the way, she looks absolutely stunning in. And she tagged Miley in the first picture. That's suspicious. That's weird. But not only that, Miley doesn't follow Haley or Kendall on Instagram. But to put the cherry on top, Miley commented a heart emoji on Selena's Instagram post. I see y'all! I'm sorry, I don't care. That is a little too calculated to be a coincidence. But what makes me want to believe this is actually true and this actually happened, Selena Gomez just posted these pictures of herself not too long ago and Miley was tagged in the first photo. Listen, I love me some Miley, so I got your back, Miley. Tag me in, sis. Whether or not Miley actually made Kendall cry is completely up for debate. But something happened. I know that for damn sure. Before I end the video, I need to talk about this because it is getting genuinely ridiculous at this point. Like, it's not even shocking anymore. I'm expecting it to happen, and that's weird. Literally every single video that I've made about this drama has included at least one instance where Haley has copied the exact same post Selena has made just a couple days after Selena's made it. And what do you know? It's happened again! No, I don't even want to hear it at this point. I don't want to hear that it's just a coincidence. I don't want to hear that it's a conspiracy. I don't want to hear that fans are just looking too deep into it because this happens so many times. Not only is she wearing the exact same top, not only has she got her hair slicked back in the exact same way, but she's making the exact same pose that Selena is making. And to make matters even worse, Haley is making a, almost a carbon copy of the video that Selena made. Selena makes a video doing her makeup. And Haley makes a video doing her skincare. This is literally incredibly eerie. It is scary. It is stalker behavior. It keeps happening and it's gonna happen again. Trust me. When I post this video, she's gonna do it again. In the next three days, this will happen again. Anyways, guys, this drama just keeps getting worse. It just keeps going downhill. As soon as you think there's nothing left to talk about, boom! These women come out and they make it worse for themselves. And we'll leave it at that. Guys, thank you so much for watching yet another video. I truly do appreciate all the support the channel is getting lately. It is literally blowing my mind. Like, it doesn't even feel real. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Peace!